rest. Both friend or true friend? Hmm, actually both. <laughs> Hi guys, I hope you're fine today. I'm so happy to be with you again this week. If you are as happy as I am, please like just now. You know that pleases me and encourages me to continue to offer you great lessons. And in today's lesson, we will study many things as usual. Vocabulary, verb, abbreviation. So listen up and take notes. In today's lesson, I'm going to tell you about this word, rest, because I can see many confusions and I don't want you to keep making those mistakes. So let's get started. First, rest, R-E-S-T, is a noun, okay? This is a true friend. It has the same meaning as in French, okay? Rest, but the spelling is R-E-S-T, okay? For example, let's imagine you are having lunch with your partner and you say, oh, I've eaten half of the pizza. I'm full, I'm not hungry anymore. You can have the rest, okay? You can have the rest of it, the rest of the pizza. Okay, normal. Let me give you another example. You are in a group walking and at some point, one part of the group turns left and the rest of the group turns right. Okay, so easy. It's the same meaning, okay? The rest of the group. Now, let's study the verb. And usually I see the confusion with the verb. Rest is also a verb, to rest. And to rest means to relax, okay? To take a break. Huh? If you are really, really tired after a long day, you need to take a break or you need to relax, okay? To rest, okay? To get some rest, hmm? to take a break, to relax. Huh? That's the meaning of to rest. Okay, and don't make the confusion. To rest is different from to stay. Okay, well, usually the confusion is with the verb to stay. Hmm? To rest is to relax. Okay, it does not mean to stay. <laughs> and the verb rest is hidden in one abbreviation. Let's study this abbreviation. Actually, you may have seen this abbreviation in some movies, some American movies, for example. Uh, the context is quite sad, you know, the context is um, a funeral, okay? So a funeral, many sad people around the grave and on the gravestone, you can see sometimes R-I-P, R-I-P in capital letters. R-I-P actually means rest in peace, okay? Rest in peace. Okay, so now you know the meaning of the abbreviation and you will not make the confusion between rest, the noun, rest, the verb, okay? The rest, to rest, different from to stay, and rest is in this abbreviation, rest in peace. Okay, I hope you've learned many things. If so, please like the video and share it. You know that when you like and when you share, it helps me help more and more people. And of course, I will be waiting for your sentences, okay, to practice, okay? You know that I read and I correct all of your sentences, all of your comments. So feel free to practice and to write your sentences. And of course, if you want to speed up your learning of English, all of the information is below the video in the description. And one last thing, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet and make sure you don't miss anything from me. Okay, have a very good day and see you soon. Bye-bye.